Welcome to my cello studio. I am Jeff Krieger. Are you getting ready for a performance or audition? This is a video on polishing your performance. I like to compare musicians to athletes when it comes to polishing a performance. Musicians have to perform at the same high level as an athlete in order to be a success. How does an athlete perform at such a high level? The best athletes have winning practice strategies. You can pause this video at any time to have a closer look at the tools that are mentioned or to practice a suggested strategy. The links to the tools are in the text below this video. First, consistent performance takes consistent practice. Winning athletes do not go for days without a good workout, and neither should musicians, especially when getting ready for a performance or audition. If your practice sessions have been inconsistent, you may need to reevaluate practice time or frequency and reorganize how you practice. Think about your goals. Is it a high score at an audition or the best performance you have ever done of a piece? These can be great motivators. The best athletes have winning practice strategies. What are your practice strategies as you get closer to a performance? Here are some suggestions. Plan to use the five-star rating system to rate several recorded performances during a week of practice and find the average rating. Then decide how you can reorganize your practice session for better results. Try using the checklist strategy to break down what needs attention. Remember, there are five elements in this checklist, tone, rhythm, intonation, dynamics, and expression. Use slow practice strategies and drills. Work on bringing the weakest element or elements up to the strongest. Make sure you can play your entire piece with a metronome at a steady pace. Have you carefully chosen the perfect metronome speed for the character of the piece? A clue is often in the title. For example, if it is a minuet, it should be at the perfect minuet tempo, not an allegro tempo. It is much more desirable to hear a clean, in-character performance rather than a performance that is much too fast. Take time to carefully choose a precise metronome speed. As you work towards a polished performance, don't forget the finishing touches. Are you following all dynamics and markings? Do you know the piece well enough to add some of your own expression? Sometimes it is fun to think of the music in images or storylines. Are you telling a story with the music? As you get closer to a performance or audition, Make some of your practice sessions more like real performances with a pretend audience and record it. Do not stop even if something happens. It may be a habit to stop in practice, but not in a performance. Practice recovery. Recovery is pretending nothing happened. Keep going. Recovery is an important learned skill of a professional musician. Nothing is ever really perfect. Remember, performance is all about music making. Continue to use the checklist or the now you're the teacher strategy after a recorded run through and always keep notes to use in the next practice session. Sometimes it is best to wait a day before working with the recording, listening with fresh ears. Remember, at this point you are working on the small leaps. Be aware of the moments before you play. 
they are the most important for getting a good, solid start and should be practiced at this stage of preparation. What are you thinking about before you play? Do you hear the music in your head with the perfect tempo? Have you quietly tested your first note? Practice taking a moment or two to think about your goals before you play. Challenge yourself to practice your pieces from memory, even if you are not performing from memory. This will be proof that you really know the music. Your ear will also be able to pick up more possible small leaps to work on without the distraction of sheet music. Continue to recheck the music for errors in bowings and dynamics you may have missed. You might be surprised at what you discover. Are you really playing contrasting dynamics when you listen back to your recordings? Are you really following all of the markings? Does your performance sound like it is in character for the type of piece? Now look at the weeks prior to your performance or audition and plan some low key performances with friends or family members. Record, listen back, and keep notes for your next practice. Make sure you have enough time in between performances to make necessary corrections. Every little accomplishment at this stage counts. It is important to realize that at the beginning of learning a piece, we make big leaps in progress, then small leaps. Continuing to learn about the small leaps you can work towards is important. As you continue to get to know a piece, keep listening to performances. Our ear will hear the music in new ways that will be beneficial to our practice and will help you realize what are your new goals or small leaps. You will find fun projects to try in the text below this video after the tool links. So this is the end of the video on polishing your performance. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to watch the other videos in this collection and come back often to listen again and check your progress.